Right now, Cincinnati police are looking for a gunman who shot and killed a man in a Taco Bell parking lot. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica, Lo uh, Jessica is joining us right now in Coryville with what she's learned. Hi, Jessica. Hey, Tanya, Cincinnati police say the deadly shooting happened between this brick apartment building and Taco Bell on Highland Avenue. Gun violence prevention advocates say these deadly shootings need to end. Please put those guns down. A passionate plea we've heard before. Please find a better way than shooting and killing each other. Cincinnati police say a 28 year old man was shot and killed in this Taco Bell parking lot in Coryville. According to Cincy Insights, the last deadly shooting in Coryville was in 2017. This is unusual. But again, once you start to see uh, that violence is contagious, you're going to start seeing violence pop up in some unusual places. The shooting happened at 1130 Monday morning. The crime scene unit was on site an hour later. Three seconds will cost you 30 years in a penitentiary. You know, and at the same time, someone losing their loved one. Gun violence prevention advocates Mitch Morris and Dennis Tate are a part of the Community Peace Builders Network. The group works to address gun violence in the Queen City. We have some individuals that we're trying to put through a training that is skill setting for uh, outreach and advocacy, but more importantly, street violence interruption. And so once we get those people in uh, locked in and, and we get those people uh, identified, then you're going to see an increase in the number of people on the streets. Aid says they need more advocates and is asking people who want to make a difference in their community to step up. In total, since the Insights reports, there were three shootings that injured four people in Coryville last year. Cincinnati police have not made any arrests or released a description of the person they're looking for in this deadly shooting in this Taco Bell parking lot. Live in Coryville, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.